This is a tribal region on the Odisha Andhra Pradesh border. What's unusual though is that this has a long standing issue of dual citizenry. Hundreds of villagers in the Kotia group of villages of Korapur district have separate election cards issued by both states. Many avail subsidized food grain, old age pension, pension for widows provided by both Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. Both states have challenged each other's administrative control over the Kotia Gram Panchayat comprising 21 revenue villages. To understand the roots of this dispute, one has to go back seven decades. In 1936, Odisha or Orissa as it was known became the first Indian state formed on linguistic basis. According to the Koraput Gazetteer, after Odisha was formed, it had the revenue, criminal and civil jurisdiction over Kotia. However, in March 1955, a boundary dispute arose when some officers of the Andhra government tried to collect rent from Kotia, which was a group of unsurveyed villages. Odisha protested the move and with no solution emerging, they moved the Supreme Court in 1968. The Supreme Court has since ordered maintaining the status quo. In 2021, for the first time, Andhra Pradesh set up polling booths in Kotia villages and held direct panchayat elections in some villages. A year later, Odisha held elections to the three tier panchayati raj institutions in the same set of villages. Faced with criticism of losing control over Kotia, the Odisha government under Navin Patnaik announced a special package of rupees 150 crore for the forest region. On the other hand, Andhra Pradesh is also investing heavily on social security schemes for Kotia villages. Officials say this type of dispute exists in some places in the northeastern states where there are many unsurveyed areas. The chief ministers of both states issued a joint statement on November 9th, 2021 to abide by the legacy of mutual cooperation and true spirit of federalism to resolve the issue.